We've left the cold winter weather and taken a break from the bus build. This week we're in the Bahamas, traveling to the southern tip of the island of Eleuthera. To the top rated beach on the island. It looks like a really fun place to stay. To travel one of the roughest roads we've ever been. I'm afraid that the, one of the tires is going to pop on the car. Oh my goodness. to reach the most calming and secluded place we've ever seen. This might be the clearest bay that I've ever swam in. We're Mela and Don. We uprooted our lives. We should do a new intro for this one. But people love the one bat at a time. Yeah, but we're not working on the bus. Yeah, once we're living in the bus, we'll be making travel videos one, one bite, bite at, at a time. time. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. It's a little chilly this morning, but we should have some good weather by the time we get to our adventures. We've got a two hour drive south, all the way to the tip of the island. So let's get going. Okay, you ready? As we headed south out of Governor's Harbor, we decided to make a quick stop in Tarpum Bay. This cute little beach town houses something you don't expect to see in the Bahamas and had piqued our curiosity. Much like other settlements on the island, there are dilapidated buildings, unfinished construction, and lots of bright and cheery colorful homes. And then there is this place. So we looked at staying. You can actually rent this castle to stay at. It's an artist from the island who built up the castle. The current owner has restored it and made an Airbnb out of it. It looks like a really fun place to stay, so we had to come just check it out for a sec. Well, maybe next time. Now before we continue our trip, I want to take a minute to tell you about how we were able to take this trip to the Bahamas for just $64. You might remember when we bought our bus, we used a credit card and received enough points to travel to South Africa and visit Mela's family. As we've been making purchases for the bus build, we're using our travel credit cards, which is why we were able to build up enough points to fly down to the Bahamas for just 64 bucks each. If you have plans to travel in 2022 by car, bus, or plane, you should look into the benefits of what a travel credit card can do. Our current favorite travel credit card lets you easily use your points and just erase your purchases. Plus, when you sign up, you'll be eligible to receive 60,000 points, which is about the amount we used to fly down here for this beach vacation. If you want to start getting the most out of your purchases, I'll include a link to our current favorite travel credit card below. But off to the main event of the day, the Lighthouse Beach. Like we're in the middle of nowhere. 
once you reach Bannerman Town, looks like a tiny little town, it's now all dirt road. There's no more highway, so we gotta go really slow. It's worse than a dirt road. It's a rocky road. This is for sure a one way. I don't know what happens if you meet somebody else on the road because there's like nowhere to pull over. You got this, baby. This is all a volcanic rock too, so I'm afraid that it's going to be like a sharp piece that pokes out. I'm afraid that the, one of the tires is going to pop on the car. Definitely not a bus friendly road here. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. to worry. Maybe this wasn't such a great idea to drive down this road. It's crazy. <laughs> oh man. I need a Jeep for this. Not a Kia Sportage. Where's our Jeep when we need it? It's definitely the most anxious drive to get to a relaxing beach that I've ever been on. Then you hit a little smooth section for about 30 feet and then boom. Oh, oh and the car gets crashed. Back now, we're almost there. I don't even know if we can turn around now. Yeah, no. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think we made it. I think we're here. I hope so. I've never been so happy to see the parking lot. Well, we just see one car. We don't know yet. Maybe he gave up. Oh, I think he just gave up. Oh, oh, but we got a beautiful. We're not quite there yet. That was just a car who decided to just stop there. <laughs> We're going to the end though. They gave up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm seeing all the cars giving up. I'm like, should we? <laughs> Calling a day for now. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, what do we do when cars are coming the other way? I know. Uh, like, is your car a rental? Yeah. Yeah, I just, I'm scared. I didn't know how well this rental was going to do. I think we're we're going to go. We're going to try it. Right. <laughs> Wish us <laughs> luck. Good luck. Have fun. Is the car in front of us just gave up. It's a little scary because we knew if they had made it, we would be okay. Don decided, oh, we're gonna go. Oh. It's not, it doesn't look too bad right here. And we're so close to the end. Yeah, we're very close to the end. So I think we're gonna keep going. Oh, it's just so narrow. Oh, there's so many scratches on the car. Really? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. They might be just easy to buff out, but we're gonna get in trouble. Oh, it's scratchy, scratching. All right, I don't know. I think this is it. I think this might be it, babe. This is where we're gonna park. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
first up on the agenda, get our swimsuits on and jump in the water. Ready. Well, this beach here, right as you get into the water, it's just about as rocky as the drive down. So we're continuing on uh, over the hill here, and this is supposed to be where there's a lighthouse we can explore. It's also supposed to be the top rated beach in all of Eleuthera. So this is the lighthouse beach. Now we just have to find the lighthouse. I think it's on top of these gorgeous looking rocks over here. Let's go see. It truly lived up to its reputation, making the dodgy road to get there 100% worth it. Should we go inside? Yeah, let's take a look. That was a butterfly. Was it a butterfly? Yes, there's three butterflies. There's going to be holes in the floor here. Yeah, but you don't jump on it. Here's a bean. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you want to stand on that. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to climb up to the top and get a really pretty view from up there, but um, I'm not going to test this floor out. <laughs> I think driving down this road was enough excitement for today. Got a pretty good view from up here anyway. But I say, what do you say, Don? Let's go like walk along those rocks to the tip. I mean, this is a good view right here. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through daylight. This looks like the perfect place to go snorkeling. Won't stop for traffic lights. Shallow, pretty far out. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. This might be the clearest bay that I've ever swam in. It's a little rough here because it's a cove. The waves are crashing from a couple sides, but after you get past the crashing, it's super smooth.
you remember we went to the Queen's bar <laughs> yesterday? Well, today we found the King's toilet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, what do you think about this place? It's worth the crazy drive. I think we've seen four people like in the distance total, like two on that side and two on that side. But we pretty much have this beach completely to ourselves. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is my favorite beach for swimming in. Around the entire island there's a, a lot of rocks and whatnot, so you gotta pick your beach properly for what you're gonna do. This one is amazing for swimming. Now there's supposed to be some good snorkeling around here, but we're not sure where that is, so we'll have to explore some more. The lighthouse itself isn't really that spectacular. But the beaches are beautiful. If you're wanting a, to rent a cabana and have drinks brought to you all day, this is not the place for you. There's nothing around here. You gotta bring your own food. Which is why we're heading back over to where we parked the car. We packed a little lunch. We're gonna have some lunch and relax for a little while. One of the locals said to us, there's 150 beaches on the island. Choose just one, just one. I don't know if he was like being serious that there are 150 or he's just expressing how many they are. But every single one of them is really beautiful. We've only shown you a few places. There's a lot more activities to do on the island. Lots of beaches <laughs> we haven't been to obviously. But I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this little adventure to the top of the island and all the way back down. You want to tell the folks at home what we're doing? <laughs> Besides uh, twerking <laughs> in front of the refrigerator. We're going to do something that I think scares us both a little bit. Maybe the chicken you can get here at this restaurant is pretty fresh. People have been asking us since we started building our bus, what are we going to call our bus? And we're looking for some driftwood that we can put from this island that gave us the inspiration.